Good afternoon guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Chiboy Warren GG. Okay. So we have three types of Samyang, um, cheese, cream carbonara, and carbonara? <laughs> what? Never mind, it's, car it's carbonara, it's the same. So... Yeah, one's creamier than yeah. the other. Yeah. I will open this now, gently like... Okay. All right, everyone. So this is the first Samyang taste test video we're doing. We're going to compare all the Samyang flavors. But what I've done here is categorize them by, you know, type. So we're going to do the cheesy Samyang noodles today. Yep. So what you have here um, is carbonara. This is the regular bulldog oh, right. carbonara. Regular. Okay. That's the regular bulldog carbonara. ingredients Yeah. Let's see. So I'm really I'm I'm gonna break these off into three videos basically, um, and they're based off of Samyang noodles that are readily available to us. Oops. Okay, it looks like a bunch of seasoning. That looks like the red sauce. You know what it is? So I think this is the red sauce, and then this is the cheese, carbonara cheese. Then the noodles. And here are the noodles. Yep. So if we look closely, the Samyang noodles look a good deal broader than usual. They almost look like fettuccine. So you can tell that they are um, wider. So this is the cream carbonara. And I expect the noodles to basically be the same as well. So we're gonna put this aside here, like so. It's quite the same. Mm -hmm. Oops. Pack, and then some of that sauce. This, of course, has extra cream, probably. I don't know if it's non-dairy creamer. That's well, I guess okay. it is. So once again, we got to keep this separate. Yeah. Mm, noodles. Mm. And this is the cheese samyang. Hot cheese ramen, yeah? Yep. Of course, it's orange, right? It's a cheese. Yeah, orange <laughs> with the cheese. So this is, looks like the powdered, yeah. you know, like the orange yeah, powdered yeah. stuff. And then the same old st samyang paste. And then, of course, there's, these are the regular Samyang noodles. You can see oh. they're, they're thinner. Oh. Oh. Not as broad, of course, as what comes in carbonara. So again, cream carbonara is about the same noodles, the broad noodles, uh, flat and broad okay. is here. First one is the cream carbonara. Okay. Get, get a uh, strainer. Siyempre, para makuha yung laman, di ba? Yeah, yeah, gan gan nila. So, lagay ko na yung ingredients. This is the cream carbonara, right? Yeah. So, this is the powder. And so, that's some cream and some cheese put together. And of course, because this has extra cream, extra cheese, I don't think this is gonna be very spicy. And. Let's do the hot cheese one, yeah. Oh, yeah, hot cheese. So as you can see here, these noodles are the regular Samyang noodles. They're a little bit thinner, but they're also a bit chew. They're pretty chewy as well. Oh, look at the cheese. Oh, la la. Look at those. Yeah, I know. That's nori. Yeah, it's nori? Yeah, seaweed. Seaweed flakes. Oh my gosh, I think it's overcooked. Look. It's hmm. getting thick. Oh, no, it's a bit. <laughs> Warren. Bolas, kayo. Bolas ka! Bulbulasin kayo, met. Da kayo, met. Guys, met. Ang kanda pat pat chen. Oh my god, splitting! Dude, that's ex that's flavor that's lacking now! I mean, mix it gently, but I'm doing like tsunami. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Warren has already fudged this part, so maybe it's not gonna be as spicy because there's some blood sauce on his hands! Oh! Smell that kind of thing. Cheesy. Hmm. It does smell oh. like pack, like processed cheddar cheese. Like a heavy hint of processed cheddar cheese. Good. You will Look say at, again. Oh la la. Look at that cheddar cheese that is coagulated. Yep. Yeah. Coagulated, everybody. That looks more red than that carbonara. The cream carbonara, yeah, that doesn't look very gentle. All done. Okay. 
And then one more, we're gonna cook our regular carbonara next. And you can see there how, like, how flat and broad those noodles are. So, this will probably adhere better to the sauce and kind of give it that, you know, augment the creaminess of the sauce. And you can see that there's some seaweed flakes in there. It looks like furikake. Kake? What? Wait. Furikake. Oh, uh, don't don't think don't think because it ends in cocky oh. that, uh, that it's something else, huh? Huh? We're not that kind of show. Yeah. Did you hear that? Look. Oh, wait, it's done now. Right. <laughs> All right, everybody. So Warren's come to watch the mm -hmm. taste test. Yeah. So again, what we have here is regular carbonara. There. Hot cheese ramen. Oh. In the middle, and then this is the cream stuff. So. Here's how I'm going to do this. I think I will go for the cheese one first. Because this one looks the most menacing. And maybe the cream one will cool us off. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's congealed in the... Man. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Off of one bite, I'm going to tell you, it's basically like regular Samyang Bulldog. Except that the cheese... There isn't really a cheese taste. It's more or less the mouthfeel that makes it different. I think though, the noodle's a little bit starchier. It does have this nice supple mouthfeel. Basically, it's just like some young bulldog, just with a creamier mouthfeel. I don't really taste that cheese. It's, it's just a nice tingling. But of course, there's like a slight bit of mala spice there too. You can taste the chicken soup flavor there too. Okay. But for me, the cheese doesn't really add anything but the creaminess. Now then, this is our carbonara. You can see here that the noodles are wider flatter and then let's give this a try kind of tastes like um you can laugh it tastes like filipino spaghetti in a sense that the sauce is a teensy bit sweet like a melt like a creamy sweet but there's spice counterbalancing that from being too sweet so you know I don't really like Pinoy spaghetti much. This is my kind of jam to as a replacement of Pinoy spaghetti. Now then, I'm gonna try this cream carbonara. If the added cream gives it more creamy suppleness and such. Give that a try. If you like the, like the Parmesan cheese type of taste, more if you want it more pronounced this is your this is more like your noodle but it's less spicy yeah it almost kind of tastes like like a creamy macaroni and cheese with a little bit of heat that's what i'm getting so if i had to pick one i'm gonna say carbonara all the way for me this is the perfect combination of sweet, not too sweet, and a nice spicy kick. If you serve me this instead of Pinoy spaghetti, I'd be happy. All you have to do is just put some sausages in there. Um, yeah, some sausages, maybe some egg if you like. And try it again. I think it's the most flavorful of the three, too. Nice balance of sweet and spicy. The noodles, just about right. You know, they're broader. Almost have like a little bit of egginess in there. Amplify some of that creaminess too. But not overdone like the cream one. And then there's a little bit of a saltiness from the furikake. A wee bit. Mm. I don't really like rating these, but... I'm gonna say... 3 out of 5 for, for the hot cheese ramen. For me, I don't really love the... It just basically tastes like Samyang, just kind of like a creamier mouthfeel. For me, 
I would say that's almost a five out of five. Is this? Let's say four and a half out of five. Does this? If you want cheese, go for this. Um, bulldog carbonara. And then if you like a little more creaminess, a little more cheesiness, then this is your thing here. Um, I think, though, it's... And especially if you're intimidated by the spice, this is a good... I think it's a good starting point. It tastes like a bit like macaroni and cheese to me, so I'm gonna also give this a 3 out of 5, along with the hot cheese ramen. Now, I feel like I could add some extra ingredients in here. And you know what? Thankfully, right out the door, right out of the house, there's a street food pop-up out there. So I might just have to get some stuff from there. Make some crazy Samyang concoction, I think. Okay, back in a bit then. All right, everybody, we're outside the house. Outside the house. That's Herb and Corn Dog. This is supposed to be Egg Walk and their Jeepney, but it's not here. And we were supposed to pair this up, Samyang, with that. But you know we're going to do something much more daring. Samyang shawarma noodles. Master shawarma doing his thing. Oh, oh, oh. So we have to do shawarma beef, cheese, onion, cucumber, and big old cheese there. Oh, oh. I love that there's a line and you have you have some young noodles waiting with shawarma on top. I'm waiting for Mr. Shawarma. Yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> this is gonna be good. A little bit of everything. An onion, cucumber. Shawarma spicy noodles. Uh. <laughs> Spicy, more spicy. Yeah, more spicy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Ragnar. <laughs> An extra creaminess. Oh my goodness. It's a trend, everybody. Shawarma and Samyang put together. <laughs> Yo, looks cool. Holy shnikes! Look at that thing. So we're gonna do something riskier, and we've done this at Master Shawarma. So our good buddy Master Shawarma, who we met in Pagudpud and befriended um is doing a pop-up here with jp we're urban corn dogs here in pit dig right in front of our house so i said let's do something daring and mix some young noodles like the some young, um i so here, here i have the leftover carbonara hot cheese ramen noodles and cream carbonara noodles put together and put with cucumber some onion I think some lettuce in here and then of course some beef shawarma and then some yogurt sauce <laughs> I'm really eager to try this out I think the Samyang noodles kind of got drowned out by all the the sweetness of the beef and there's some light heat sweetness and creaminess put together and like I said in my public put review of master shawarma this is a Filipino style shawarma so it tends to be on the sweeter side. The beef really does taste like 100% old beef. To me, it almost tastes like if the Koreans ever did beef stroganoff with some chili paste. This is what it tastes like. It gets meat and meat. Meat and noodles. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we should try the X3 on that with this. <laughs> I can taste 70% of Master Shawarma, 30 percent of Samyang noodles. 15%? Oh, 30%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, most of it like I've tasted like before. Do you think we should mix it with X3? Um, X3 stuff. And then maybe and then, X2 or regular. Well, um, that's good though. It is good? Mm -hmm. I really like it. You like it? I want plus egg luck. I think with egg luck though, it's like the logical, if you want to call it logical, 
Because there's spam, there's eggs, there's um, spam, eggs, and cheese, and nori. That would be the most logical fit. But they're not here, unfortunately. So we're really experimenting. It really is as if like Koreans made like beef stroganoff or their own version of like Italian bolognese. Ooh, there's that little heat. That reminds you you're eating Samyang. And of course the cheesiness is amplified because we added some more yogurt sauce. I think I would love to try it. The X3 with shawarma. If the sweetness will win out here. Well, for you, but for me, I'm passing. You like it? You like this instead? Yeah. Oh. I really like it. Carbonara, man, plus the samyang, uh, I mean, carbonara, plus the shawarma, ketchup, shawarma sauce. Hot, yeah. Yep. But remember, there's three types of here there's cream carbonara, there's mm -hmm. carbonara, and hot cheese ramen. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to start a new food trend, everybody, but I want we want to be the first to be a uh, We want the first credits, uh -huh. right? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. Warren, with that okay. said, Oh yes, that's time. it. That's our video for today. If you like this video, please give it big a thumbs up and better yet subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe more weird instant noodle uh, permutations too, right? More instant noodle recipes. Yeah. Weird stuff, huh? Well, this is my cooking show. <laughs> what is cooking it? noodles is hard. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's very serious. Don't try at your home. If you cook some young noodles, okay? <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Try at home. Uh, big shout out to the Shopee. Um, yeah. The Shopee. Shopee, Shopee well, companies. <laughs> a shout out, of course, to Master Shawarma. Yeah, Master Shawarma over there, right in front of the house near JP's, of course, Urban Corn Dog. So if you're in Pit Dig, if you happen to be from your local Norte, Dag damn it, visit Pit Dig, visit the house. Well, don't come visit when I'm like, you, you know, guys see my pajamas. Like yeah. He's hanging the mm. rubber because of it. Like, no. What? <laughs> okay, whatever, guys. It's tricks, man. Okay. So, once again, shout out to Master Shwarma. Uh -huh. He was game to do this experiment. He may want to try X Samyang X3 noodles for the blog, but he kept on teasing us saying no. Okay. So, on that note, we'll see Master Shwarma again. I hope to see you guys again. Um, and until then, keep cool, but can't oh, remember wait. what. Are we done to pay for them? What? I think we're not paying the shawarma. What the? <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, please subscribe. <laughs> okay. Until then, keep cool, but care. Remember, Empire never ended. <laughs>